Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to import images into VoxEdit. Uh, this is particularly useful for things like logos or NFTs that aren't on OpenSea's ETH chain um, and photos, things like that. Uh, we are going to be using a third party program that is free. It's called Magica Voxel. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can download it directly. And when you have it installed and opened, it will look like this. Now in this program, all we have to do is click the clear button here to get rid of the default blue box. And all we do is drag an image inside of the program from whatever folder or desktop. And it will look like this. Now I've just imported my logo. Um, I don't have to make this in VoxEdit from scratch. It was just an image that I dragged into here. Now when you click this save button, it will save as the Vox file. So we can go ahead and call it logo. You can't see the save file, but you will see it on your screen when you do it. Uh, and now it's saved. Now what we do is we open up VoxEdit and we'll go to animator and we'll create a new asset and we'll call it logo tut, whatever you want and click save. Um, and then here in the top left, we always want to create a child node and call it main or whatever you want. So it's not on a root folder. And then here on the right, we click import Vox. And then all you got to do is select that file wherever you saved it and click open. And it should import the file, as you can see up here. And all you do is drag and drag it on top of the main. And there is our logo. Nice and easy. You can do this with NFTs and images. You can even click this uh, little icon here to edit it if you want to change colors or refine the details. Uh, but once you're done and you want to bring it into GameMaker, go to File, Export, Export to Marketplace. Uh, select an image that you want as a thumbnail. Doesn't really matter for this example and click Export. Now this will bring up a web page. So let me just bring that up for you now. Okay, so we want to make it a new asset. We give it a name, just call it Tut Logo. Um, example, just put in the description, doesn't matter. Um, go continue. Here, I don't really know what to select most of the time. So just do building and none and then click continue. And done, that's it. Now we can open up our game maker. So we'll, we'll close this down. And there's our game maker. And all we do is press L to bring up the library and type in tut and there's our logo. So we can bring it into our taskbar and drag it in. And you can go ahead and rotate that whatever you want. This requires no frames, so you won't have any alignment issues or uh, frame issues, which a lot of people are experiencing. Um, and yeah, nice and easy. Quite a short tutorial, but very, very useful. Uh, this saves making people's logos from scratch uh, amongst other things. So um, you don't have to have any restrictions on OpenSea NFTs being on an ETH chain and things like that. You can just save the NFT onto your desktop drag it into Magica Voxel, uh, export it into VoxEdit, and then bring it into GameMaker. Very short tutorial. Now, if you have any questions, send me a DM on Discord. More than happy to help. Remember that this uh, description below will have the link to download Magica Voxel, which is free, and it's only for Windows, I believe. Uh, but have a great day.